welcome to Psychic Medium, Tony Green. We are going to have hopefully a fabulous show today. I want to apologize to everybody who called in on Monday and was dropped on the call log. I don't have any control over that. Unfortunately, um, that is a different company that I use to take my calls and I was dropped from them twice. So sometimes, you know, they're, they're on the East Coast and the weather or whatever's going on on the East Coast will um, determine the connection that we have. So it is what it is. Technology today is what it is. And we just we move on. We move on. So today, a couple of really quick things I need to say, and then we're going to jump right into the show. I have a full call log. I'm going to try to get to as many people as possible before I have to head out and start doing appointments. I want to thank everybody watching live on YouTube and everybody calling in. If you are watching on one of the stations that airs my show, Thank you. Um, if you want to join the show live every Monday and Wednesday, I go um, live on YouTube and you can actually call in and ask a question or connect with a loved one on the other side. So that's available for you if that's what you choose. OK, next, I, I do private sessions and I don't say this enough. I feel like people would know this, but I'm wrong. I'm wrong about that. People would not know that I do private sessions, but I do private sessions. If you would like a private session, the best way to reach me is um, through my website, which is T-O-N-I-G dot info, Tony G dot info. That is the only way you can get a private session from me. I don't reach out to people on any social media. Yes, I am on um Instagram, TikTok. I know, right? TikTok. Oh my gosh. That is the funniest social media you can get. It's just crazy. TikTok is crazy. And it took me a while to get on TikTok, but yes, TikTok. Oh, it's my new favorite addiction. <laughs> I'm embarrassed to say it, but it is. Did you know, did you know the top earner on TikTok, made $10 million last year. <laughs> okay, I'm not trying to be an influencer. <laughs> I'm just trying to get out of bed and do my day every day. <laughs> $10 million. And she is young. She's hella young. Oh, my God. So if you're looking for a side hustle and you can do TikTok videos, there's a place to start. Um, the reason I got on TikTok is my youngest brother and one of my nieces have a station together, Stevie and Gianna. Hey, Stevie. Hey, Gianna. Um, and they did little TikTok videos and started putting them on. So I had to create an account to watch his his little videos. And then now my, my one niece's boyfriend, Brandon, is also on TikTok. Now, I've put a couple little TikTok videos out that I've made with Mosho. And I thought, ah, you know, they get they get about 200 likes each. Well, Brandon gets on and within a week, his videos are getting thousands of views. And I'm like, how does that happen? How does that? How does that right there? That. Oh, you try again? OK, folks. <laughs> Let's let's shut this down. See, right there. Right there. I'm not a conspiracy theorist. They're always listening. <laughs> I didn't even say, how are you doing? I didn't even say, hey, at Siri. None of that. It just popped on and started talking to me. <laughs> um, okay. Anyway, back to this. I never reach out to anyone on social media. Yes, I am on Facebook. I am on um Instagram, TikTok, I'm I'm waiting to be um, verified for or waiting for it to be activated on Truth and a couple of other things that I'm on um, that I can't think of the names of right now, but I am. However, I will not reach out to you on any of those venues. Again, if you want an appointment, 
uh, go to my website and follow the steps to the appointment. You pay for the appointment and then you call the number and we set up your appointment. Okay, having said all of that, we are gonna get started in, I think, a second. Questions. When I call your area code, if you are online and I call your area code, and you'll know that I've clicked on your number, um, just please have one question or one connection ready. Your question should not be a very like vague question. Like, can you just give me a reading? I will disconnect you. I shouldn't, I know that, but I don't have time to explain this over and over again to people when there are so many people waiting online. Have a specific question about life, love, career, finances, any aspect of your life at all. Or a connection, one, one specific person that you wanna connect with on the other side. I just need their first name and their relationship to you and whatever it is you want to talk to them about. The reason I do it this way on my show is, well, I want to. That's the way I want to do it. I don't want to give full-on readings for anybody on my show. If you need a full-on reading, if you want to know whatever spirit has to say to you, whatever your relatives are around, whatever the next three to six months have, I'm happy to help you with that. Book a private session. I will go full on detail and give you whatever you want. But for the purpose of the show, everybody listening and watching, one specific question. Okay. I think that's pretty fair and easy and all that good stuff. If you don't like the answer, don't argue with me. I just feel like today this is something I need to say. I feel like I can feel it coming in the air already. <laughs> By the way, I love that song. It's one of my favorite all-time songs. I want someone to do a mashup. Just so, hear me out here. Of I can feel it coming in the air and we will rock you. I can feel it coming in the air tonight. And then... We will, we will rock you. I can, uh, yeah, right? I mean, can you hear that, folks? Can you feel that? Yes, that needs to be an anthem song for we the people. Yeah, baby, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> okay, I think somebody needs to do that mashup right there for us. Yes. Okay, I'm going to go to the first caller. I'm going to go to 850 85, 85, 85, 85, 85. Hi. What's your name? Hi, I'm Michelle calling from Florida. Michelle. Uh huh. How can I help you, Michelle? And I'm calling from Florida. Love. It. I'm stressed out. Oh, no. And Was that? My daughter. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Huh? Go ahead. Um, I do not know how to respond to my daughter. It's just been constant trying to get close to her. And it, it, she, you know, she asks for help. And then she makes her excuse not to be available when we're ready to help her. Like, like her washing machine when she wants it hooked up. So my husband said that he would be by there the, in the evening. And then she doesn't answer her phone. And then we, so that didn't happen. So we called her again. So we'll, we'll be by here sometime this evening. And so we call her to let her know that we're in the area. She doesn't answer her phone. Then she calls two hours later and said, well, she was busy. And I'm like, you know, we're trying to help you here. And she, it was so bad on the last conversation. I almost wanted to call her a B word. I was so upset. And so I refrained from it. And I told her, I said, you're being mean. I said, we're trying to help you. And she's like, well, you didn't call me back. I'm like, I did call you back. Or when I talked to her, she talks real softly where I can't hear her that I have to repeat myself. And then, then she wants to hang up on me and she's so ungrateful. She so much takes after her father. And it's like, I don't know how to communicate with her. Okay. Um, cause I mean, she does things deliberately, um, to try to get me to argue with her or I don't even know how to explain what she's doing. Okay. You know? This is a thank it's you. Like, thank you. <laughs> 
Thank you. Okay, so there is so much going on in the world today like this. So Michelle, I'm going to first and foremost, I'm going to do a clearing for anxiety and stress and I can feel that building up in me. Oh, it's like hard to catch a breath. So let's clear that everybody for you, for everybody listening, watching, re-listening, re-watching. And that is at about the 10 minute mark of the show. You can come back and listen to this every day if the stress or the anxiety comes back. Just come back and re-listen to this. Now, the first thing I want to say is stop. Stop. Stop, stop, stop. And I'm going to explain this. Now, please understand, folks, this is not me saying this. This is the angels, the spirit, you know, ancestors saying this. It, what, what Michelle does with her daughter, it doesn't affect me at all. I'm, I'm not going to like whatever. So when they come through and they give a message, I give it. First of all, the first thing I heard is she's playing games and she's being a little princess, but she's been this way all of her for, for a great deal of time. She if she expects things to be done immediately. And if you don't like if you're not at her, I'm hearing the word beck and call, then she gets twisted or very upset about it. What they're saying that needs to be yep. done is you just need to pull back all of your resources and all of your help because right now she's in a place where she expects this and she not only expects it, but she demands it. You need to show her that these are favors, not odes. You owe her nothing. She's a full grown adult and you owe her nothing. And if she is not going to treat you in a kind and respectful, loving way, you don't owe her anything. And if she does not have appreciation for you, and she knows, she knows exactly what she's doing. And here you are trying to help her. And here she is trying to kind of, she's not aware she's playing a game, but in her mind, she says, well, they didn't call me back when I wanted them to call me back. So now I'm just going to show them. I'm going to show them. What are you showing us that you're not getting your washer fixed or hooked up? Is that what you're showing us? Like, girl, you're playing a game and you're intentionally losing so that you can show us. We have clean clothes. We don't care. Um, what I'm hearing is in your best interest not only for this incident, but moving forward, helping her become an independent adult that respects things that are done for her, not only from you and your husband, but from other people also, pull back and let her reach out to you and then take phone conversation out of it for a moment because she gets on the phone with you and you're defending yourself when you're trying to help her Sounds a little backwards, but okay. Um, and somebody up there is saying, she's not five anymore. She's not five anymore. They're saying, just pull back. If she needs something, if she leaves you a voicemail, send her a text saying, we'll be happy to do this at such and such. But go into text because it's much more difficult for her to manipulate you. And yes, that is the word they are using. It is much more difficult for her to manipulate you over a text. Once she gets you on the phone, she really can play with that. Um, but I am hearing completely pull back. Don't be so available, willing, and able to accommodate her. Send her a text saying, well, if you want to hook up the washer, send a text saying, give us a time, you're available, and leave it at that. If she doesn't respond, that's on her. That's not on you. Don't treat her like she's five anymore. Don't try to be, don't be so willing to jump through hoops to try to fix this situation and or any other situation. What I'm hearing is um, she is she is not, well, obviously not being grateful, but this is a bit of a game for her. This is a bit of a game. Even if she wouldn't call it a game, it's a game for her. So pull back and allow her 
to have gratitude when you do something instead of thinking everything is owed to her. Does that make sense to you, love? Yes, it does. Exactly. And that's what I needed to hear because I, I don't know how to even respond to her because then don't. it was just like everything that I do, I even was so nice to her. And I'm like, she, she painted her house. I'm like, oh, it looks beautiful. It's awesome. And I said, your brother's coming in town to visit. I said, you better get it cleaned up. You know, just cutting up with her, you know, and I'm not on the time schedule. I'm, I'm not trying to impress anyone. I was like, oh, my God, I was just trying to let you know your your brother's coming in the town, you so, know? You know, and it sounds <sighs> like she, just... you know, here's what I'm going to say. I, and again, for what it's worth, it sounds like a, a little separation might be good for both of you because sometimes we get in these spaces where we take things so personally on both sides, but I do feel like she is a little bit being um, really ungrateful. And it's if you pull back, not it, not in a in a mean way, but like, listen, it seems like there's a little bit of stress. Maybe we need a little break. I feel like she's going to respond to that a lot better and be grateful rather than expectant in the future. Okay, love. Thank you so much. God bless you, honey. Thank you so much. And I'm going to do, I'm going to re up that uh, we have anxiety. I'm going to clear that we have stress. Who let's clear that. And I'm going to go directly to four, four, zero, four, four, zero. How can I help you today? Hello, I just want to say that was really great. You're really good at delivering messages and being, you know, very like, I just have really admire your gift. Um, Thank you. So I have a quick, <laughs> hi, so I have a question. Um, it's very quick and simple. Um, do you feel that I'll be moving soon, like within a month, maybe less? Uh, you can, If you do move within a month, there will be a second move attached to that. So, like, let's just say within a month uh -huh. you decide to move, you might end up, I hear, couch surfing, like, on somebody's couch or with a friend or family or somebody that you know. If you, But if you wait, you're going to end up in your place, place, like, where you're going to be. I'm hearing be more independent. If, um, if, I, I feel like if you have a place in mind, it might not be, is it going to be available by April 1st? If it is, it's going to be kind of a wreck-ish. Like you're going to be going in and doing cleanup. I feel like just if you can be patient, if, you, if you're capable of taking the time you need to get into the new place, that's better. Otherwise... You're going to end up moving twice is what I'm hearing. I, I don't know if that makes sense to you. I feel like you might be waiting on a specific place or waiting for an answer on a specific place. I just feel like that might take a, a little bit longer than you're thinking right now. Mm, okay. That, but, that is, kind of, well, see, the situation I'm in is that, you know, it's like I'm, I've been guided by spirit for a long time to go to here or there, move this way or that way. And um, so, like, at this point right now, it's like I don't have any alternative but stay where I'm at or wait until, like you said, I'm waiting for a certain situation to happen so that I would be able to move. And my, my real question to you was if that situation was going to be happening, like, say, within a month. I feel like it might take approximately a month and a half before okay. you get the answer and the, the they're using the okay. word accommodation, the accommodation that you need, whatever that means for you mm. and your situation. Okay. Okay. Excellent. Okay. All right. I hope that's All helpful. Right. Yeah, you know, it, it does 
help in some way. It kind of gives me a different perspective now of like, you know, what, what I could, you know, what I could do or what could happen. And you, I feel like you're right on the money though. How you say, if I don't wait, I'll move again, which makes a lot of sense. Yeah. I feel like if you jump too quickly, if you make this move too quickly, you're going to be in a situation where you are having to do it again. Or if you jump too quickly, you're going to move into a mess that somebody else left behind. But if you can be patient, I feel like in 45, Mm. in approximately 45 days, in approximately a month and a half, which by the way, that puts us, what is this, April, all of April into May, that puts us near the beginning of May. And it may just take that long for the, the specific place to be ready. It might be available before then, but it won't be ready before then. Does that, I hope that that's really helpful for you. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, anything is really helpful. It just kind of gives me a like a reframe, you know, so. Excellent. Well, thank you so much for calling in. Thank you. All right. Thank you. you thank you. You okay. are welcome. Have an amazing rest of the day. I'm going to go directly to 405. 405, how are you today? Hey, Tony. It's Heather. How are you? I'm good, Heather. How are you? Uh, well, I have puppies I've been trying to get rid of, and I, you know, guys with the whole friend thing and posting on Facebook and Instagram and all that fun stuff, because I wanted them to go to, like, a home just to, like, get rid of them, like, for free or with family or friends, and I can't get rid of them, but they're, like, eight weeks old, and... I'm going to have to go back to work soon, like, in so, the office. How will, <laughs> so I'm like, what, uh, what kind, I don't know which way to go. What kind of puppies are they? They're uh, Blue Healer Dachshund. Oh. oh, my gosh, you're breaking my heart. Uh, and everybody loves puppies. So, uh, So is it okay if we let people know if they're really, if this is what they want, how to reach out to you, Heather? Yeah. Okay, so Heather, do you, would you rather have them reach out via phone number, uh, social media? Give if somebody wants one of these puppies, I mean, truly, truly, is going to give them a good forever home. Um, Heather, tell them how they can get a hold of you. Uh, you guys can call me or text. It's four zero five nine nine nine. Now, Heather is in Oklahoma. You're going to have to figure out how to get the puppy from her to you. Be prepared to make that drive or hire somebody to get that puppy to you. And puppies are adorable, but be prepared for the full Mm -hmm. on all like, like future with a puppy that's more than a baby. I'm just saying sometimes it's more than a baby. But if this is this is uh, what you yeah. want. If you've been looking for a puppy, if you're thinking this is good, then contact Heather and she will be able to accommodate you. Heather, I always believe when it comes to animals, we don't get to pick their home. They pick their home. So when the people show up, the right puppy will like follow them around or be with them. Um So that Mm -hmm. is one thing that I will say that even though you might want to keep them close and with family members that you thought might want them, that might not be the home they're they're supposed to end up in, unfortunately. But I do feel Mm -hmm. like there are a couple people that will be listening to or watching this show that are going to... Think of this as the most amazing gift ever. Okay, Heather? (laughs) Yeah. Excellent. Thank you so much for calling in. And I'm going to do a little clearing that is specific to these puppies that they end up in their, these puppies are going to end up in their perfect homes. I get a yes, so we're going to strengthen that. They're going to end up with owners or yeah, owners in homes that they are adored and loved. I get a yes, so we're going to strengthen that too. I'm so happy for that. 
Awesome. Thank you. You are welcome, Heather. Until next time, have an absolutely amazing rest of the day. I'm going to go directly to <clears throat> 516. 516, how are you today? Hi, Tony. This is Anita from New York. Hey, Anita. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. How how can I help you good. today, Anita? Okay. I called at the beginning of the year, and you had seen my significant um, partner coming in in June. Do you pick up anything new? Okay. So when I ask, is he still coming in, or your significant partner still coming in in June? I hear yes both times. Who? So I'm going to do a... Uh, I'm going to do a clearing for <clears throat> for you, everybody watching, listening, re-watching, re-listening. And again, this is at about the 25-minute mark. And this is for you, for um, we are connected with our perfect partner. We are going to be connected with our perfect partner. I get a yes. And then I, I want to say we are we and our partner are ready for a healthy, loving relationship. I get a no, so let's clear that to a yes. And I feel that coming up from like that sternum area, which is um, the chakra for fear, I believe. So we have a lot of fear in relationships. I get a yes, let's clear that. And here's one I really want to do. We have cleared out past trauma. And I get a no, so let's clear that. Like that's a lot of clearings, big, oh, big, huge. <laughs> uh, you guys, these affect me too, not only because they affect me, but I'm also clearing for you guys while we're doing this. So if you're feeling this, I'm feeling this. Let's, oh, let's take a breath. <laughs> And if you want to come back and re-listen to those, they're at about the 25-minute mark. And Mimi is amazing. She's marking the time. She's time stamping all these healings. So thank you, Mimi. And Mimi did request a throat clearing, like a uh, throat clearing. So I'm going to do that now. Our, our throat chakra is open. I get a no. So let's clear that. Okay, sweetie. I feel like he's this, this alignment is still set for June. I would recommend that you really focus in on being ready for the, what they're calling the full Monty. And oh my gosh, no, I don't mean it like they mean it in that one movie. <laughs> I mean it like the, I mean it like the whole thing, like the, the the relationship that actually progresses into something, <laughs> something healthy and and moves forward into like the if you if you believe in getting engaged and moving in and getting married, that it does progress in that way. But different people look at. Uh, uh, marriage as a different type of thing, but whatever that commitment means for you and whatever it is you're wanting in this situation, I feel like that is going to move forward for you and it's going to be in that situation for you. Um, and yes, there will probably be a um, full Monty in that situation, but that is not what I meant with that. Uh, well, I didn't think that's what I meant. Um, but I do feel like this is going to be a full on relationship that that has the potential to be a very long term, long lasting relationship for you between now and then. Just make sure you're focused on what you want and how you want it. OK, beautiful. Great. Thank you so much. You Appreciate it. Oh, absolutely. My pleasure. Absolutely. Thank you all so much for listening, watching, rewatching, re-listening.